What's up guys, Physical Media Man back here again for another Physical Media Man Monday video. I have, I think the last thing um, that I purchased from the month of January, there was a January unboxing video, but I did place a pretty big order with uh, Hamilton Book. So I got two boxes here to unbox for you guys, a lot of stuff um, that I had in my cart for a while and I finally ended up purchasing. So. Before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, leave feedback, do all that good stuff down below. I'll leave the links to my Instagram page, my Physical Media Man store Instagram page, my Facebook page for the Physical Media Man slash Physical Media Man store, my Facebook page for nine meter related items to HodgePodge Garage, my email, my eBay, my Twitter, and my Letterbox account. Um, so when you guys um, let me know that uh, Hamilton Book was dropping some, some titles, and they let me know actually before I got the email. So um, I am on their newsletter type thing. So they usually send out an email when they're posting new stuff, which is nice. Um, but there was a couple things I definitely wanted to get um, when he let me know. And um, so, yeah, thanks to you again. Um, and yeah, like I said, I had quite a few of these items in my cart for quite a while and never pulled the trigger so um, here is their normal the way they send stuff actually I'm going to open up the other box first so we got a big box I did get a, a few books um, so I think that's what's going to be in here and the movies in the other would be my guess and they do a very good job of packaging jolly Oh, there is some movies in here too. Good th and they do a good job and they um, send a receipt that has the items with their prices and everything. Um, so, so I can let you know how much I paid for everything. Um, so first up from my Jim Carrey collection, one of my favorites, this was $3.95. We got Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of Jim Carrey and his work, um, so definitely wanted to get this one for the collection. Um, this is a Shout Factory release. Um, this was $4.95. Um, I watched this as part of, I think, the Heartland International Film Festival. Um, if it wasn't part of that, I definitely watched it at the Historic Art Craft Theater in Franklin, Indiana, um, which is a really neat theater, and we both really enjoyed this movie. So um, this is one I had in the cart for a while. I'm really happy to have it in the collection now. Billy Crystal, Ben Schwartz, and Standing Up, Falling Down. This one's definitely good if you haven't seen it. Definitely worth checking out. Um, and, yeah, really happy to have it in the collection. Oh, nice. Didn't think this would come with a slip. Um, this was $5.95. We got a, a three, three movie collection of the Grease films. So we got Grease, Grease 2 and Grease Live. Um, I have the original uh, just by itself on a regular Blu-ray, so that'll be for sale. If you're interested, let me know. Um, I do enjoy that one. I actually um, listened to the CD a lot growing up and never watched the film. And in the last probably five or so years, I watched the film and liked it quite a bit. So I've never seen the second one or Grease Live. Um, I think my wife said she liked the second one. So uh, for $5.95, I figured I'd go ahead and upgrade and have all of them. Looks like this is a lot of the movies. I'll just keep going though. All right. Another Shout Factory release. I don't know about this. This was $4.95. I figured I could always probably get my money back if I don't like it. Um, that was kind of my thought process on a few of these. Um, we got Rappin' with Mario Van Peebles. Uh, I think I remember listening to maybe, um, oh, Just the Discs podcast. And he, I think I remember him talking about this one and it sounded interesting and fun and uh, worth checking out. So um, for the price, I figured I'd go ahead and grab it. Uh, next up is the Olive's Films title. They had a lot of Olive Film titles um, 
for sale during this newest drop. Um, this one was $5.95. Um, I looked all of them up. This one had a high rating. Um, Emma Thompson's in it, so I figured I'd give it a shot. We got Carrington. Happy about this. I didn't know if this one would come with slip either. This was $6.95, which is a great deal. Never had seen this until last year, I believe. Really enjoyed it. I did hear that the Kino 4K release is fantastic, um, but for the price, I just went ahead and upgraded to this Blu-ray put out by Scream Factory. Great film if you haven't seen it. Misery. Next up was $5.95. Um, Jason Sudeikis and uh, this film about uh, DeLorean, Driven. Uh, always been a fan of the car since the Back to the Future movies, so um, figured this would be interesting, kind of a true story um, about the guy that made the DeLorean. So I figured I'd grab that. Um, this I uh, was another this was one of the new releases and one I really wanted to get um, I think I had this from uh, maybe Dollar Tree for, for a dollar on DVD um, but I had the first set on blu-ray so I wanted to go ahead and grab this this was $9.95 um, we got 30 for 30 season 2 and I'm a huge huge fan of sports and these documentaries especially um, this has Youngstown Boys, Benji, No Moss, Free Spirits, Big Shot, The Price of Gold, The U Part 2, Rand University, Of Miracles and Men, Slaying the Badger, Bernie and Ernie, Angry Sky, L.A. to Marino, I Hate Christian Leitner, Bad Boys, Brothers in Exile, Playing, with the, playing for the Mob, Broke, the Day the Series Stopped, Soul Man, Hawaiian, The Legend of Eddie Ayaku, uh, Brian and the Boz, 9.79, When the Garden Was Eden, Survive in Advance, You Don't Know Bo, This Is What They Want, Ghosts of Old Miss, Requiem for the Big East, and There's No Place Like Home. I really need to get the Reggie Miller winning time one, but um, really happy to have this in the collection. Their documentaries are so great, um, especially these early ones. Um, so yeah, stoked for that. A couple more things here. Um, we got some more All of Films ones. This one was only $3.95, I believe. Um, yeah, three ninety five. dollars Bought it because Paul Newman was in it. I don't know if it had the greatest rating or not. Um, it's WUSA. I don't really know too much about it, but for the price, I wanted to go ahead and grab it. Uh, next step, I, I don't know. I think I've said this before. Um, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with Woody Allen and his films. Um, but some of them I really like. Some of them I don't like at all. This one was $5.95, $5.95, has a really good cast with Timothy Chalamet, um, I think I just said that wrong, Ellie Fanning, Selena Gomez, Jude Law, and um, yeah, A Rainy Day in New York, and of course he loves New York, um, so a lot of his films are set there, which I'm a fan of New York too, so in the setting for films, um, so looking forward to checking that one out. Some more Olives films. Um, this is James Cad Cagney and Johnny, Johnny Come Lately. Um, I think this one was $5.95 as well. Oh, nope, $4.95. And I looked this one up and it sounded interesting, so um, went ahead and grabbed it. I basically grabbed everything that had like a seven or higher rating. Um, this one's not a uh, not all films, but this is a. Um, Classic flicks release with Gary Cooper and Teresa Wright. We got Casanova Brown. That one I didn't really know too much about, um, but it, I think it got a good rating, so I went ahead and grabbed it. And then this one comes with a slip, and it's all those films. Um, 
winner of two Academy Awards, including Best Actor, with Rowan Coleman in it, we got A Double Life. Um, and that was uh, $5.95 as well. So was Casanova Brown. And then lastly, this I think this is all of uh, everything I got uh, movie-wise. Um, this one was four ninety-five. Watch this as I don't think I watched this as part of the Heartland International Film Festival. I think I watched it as uh, whatever the Cincinnati Festival was, and watched it uh, via the streaming thing. Um, you got Daniel Radcliffe and Daniel Weber and um, Escape from. Pretoria. Um, I think it was based on a true story. Yeah, um, it's a true story. Uh, very intense film, but very good. Definitely worth checking out. So I was really happy to get it for the price. So a couple that I've watched at uh, film festivals that I uh, I liked and wanted to grab, um, they didn't get like wide releases. So really excited to have those in the collection. All right, so I think that's everything for the box here. Kind of surprised that all the movies were in the box and the books are going to be in this thing. Yeah, so the books are in this. All right. I guess I only got a couple books so I guess that makes sense all right and they also included um, prices on these um, this one I was real excited about when I saw it I, I think at one point I just searched um, movies or I think they have a category for movies under the books so this is 495 um, it is kind of paperback um, but this one I had on my list uh, for a little bit and I really wanted to give it get it so we got film and TV locations Scout out the world's top spots for famous films and TV scenes. And if you've been a fan of the channel for a while, I really enjoy um, going to movie locations, especially the, the movies that I'm really passionate about. And luckily some of those um, are nearby me. So this is uh, pretty neat and it's got really neat pictures. Neighbors, Moonrise Kingdom. Gladiator, yeah, Ghostbusters, um, so yeah, very neat there, and that'll go on my bookshelf that I started um, with all my movie type of books, so really neat there, and then this um, was $7.95, I figured I'd go ahead and grab it, um, we got Marvel Studios, the first 10 years, um, the official collector's edition, it does look like there was a little bit of damage to it, but um, yeah, it's hardback. Um, I like the Marvel movies, so I figured I'd get it for the collection and put it on the shelf, and I might read it eventually, but um, yeah, so I grabbed that. And then lastly, um, more movie location type of things. might go ahead and open this one up too. This was $7.95 as well, so these last two books were $7.95. Um, this one's uh, hardback as well. This is called Travelogue of Horror. Or Travelodge and Log. So there's the front of it. And uh, like this one I was going back and forth on, but um, there are some scary movies that I really enjoy. Um, so I wanted to, to grab it in case there's any, any of the film. Yeah. So here's a whole chapter on Jaws. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely have to read that cause I would love to, to check out the filming locations for Jaws. I don't know. Let's see if they have a table of contents in here. Okay. Yeah. So you got Friday the 13th, uh, Friday the 13th part two. Part six, um, Monkey Shines, Jaws, Creep Show, The Evil Dead, My Bloody Valentine, The Shawshank Redemption, which I'll have to go back and read that because we've been to the, the filming locations for that. Um, the Blair Witch Project, Sorority Row, I Know What You Did Last Summer. I recently got the 4K of that, so I'll have to watch that film and I've never seen it and uh, 
read this chapter. Um, Pet Cemetery, The Amityville Horror, I Spit on Your Grave, The Exorcist, um, Silence of the Lamb, Swamp Thing. And there's 45 chapters, so really neat. Seems like this book's really well done, so I'm excited about this. This seems a lot neater than I kind of anticipated, so very neat book there. I'll go ahead and open up the Marvel one too. Oh, well, I'm going to attempt to. There we go. some of the pages here chasing the orb looks like on guardian guardians of the galaxy here's some age of ultron um, so yeah it looks like it's broken down by movie and some other neat stuff so pretty cool there too so yeah all right so that's everything I got from Hamilton book. I think it came right around $100. Um, but a lot of these, uh, all of films titles, I've never seen, I've, like I said, I've only probably seen um, the ones I watched at the convention, the 30 for 30 and um, Ace Ventura, of course, and Grease and R Misery. So the rest, I figured um, if I don't like them, I'd be able to recoup the cost. Um, and the rest were good deals and stuff I wanted for the collection. So here are all of the, the movie-related titles. So hope you enjoyed this. If you haven't yet done so, please check out uh, Hamilton Book. They do a great job. And make sure to subscribe and like the video. So this is Physical Media Man signing off. Physical Media will never die. Physical Media Man. Physical Media Man. Physical media man.